I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past. We'll talk about the present time coming up for the second week of August. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out the outcome. So Sagittarius, in the recent past, we've got this beautiful Four of Wands. Beautiful. The Four of Wands is about commitment. So it's indicating that you could have been attending special events or a special event that would have been way more fun than you were anticipating. So you probably went or that's what you should have done. Business was likely to be going really well at that time. You were proud of yourself and others were proud of you. Although this is a very positive card in the reading, it shows that you could have needed to keep your wits about yourself and you probably deserved and treated yourself to some fun. But you should have known that you were still in a building up phase. And at that time, it really wasn't good to completely rest on your laurels. Now this card can also mean that you moved. Maybe you moved your place of residence. It's paired with the Three of Wands. So Three of Wands is showing that you could have found that your finances, they were much better than you realized. It would have been a time when it felt like your ship had finally come in. And so you could have been feeling really strong about something with a really good reason or for a really good reason. Uh, you maybe finally experienced some important success after you had been through some difficulty. Three of Wands, it could refer to work in a very positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts, they're seen, appreciated, and they're well respected. So give yourself some credit. Or maybe that's what you did. You patted yourself on the back. So basically in the recent past, we got this beautiful four of wands. You could have been in a relationship or you could have been dealing with someone, whereas it was great, wonderful. It could have moved to the next level, became a whole lot more committed, possible marriage, just moving to the next level, moving up a notch, um, just going up an, uh, the next level or two. Because the four ones is is about marriage, long term commitment. So it was a beautiful relationship that you were in, and there was expansion and growth with the three of wands. You two were probably looking ahead, and it felt the connection felt great. Um, it felt like your ship had finally come in. So you were in a really beautiful, growing connection in the recent past, and I know a lot of you are saying, but I don't. I haven't dated anyone in the recent past. Well, maybe if it wasn't a relationship, it could have been a situation. Something was expanding, it was growing, and it felt wonderful. But for most of you, Sagittarius, this was a, a connection. It was a relationship that was working out really well. Felt like teamwork, and there was growth and expansion, and the two of you were looking ahead towards the future. So enough about the recent past because I know a lot of you don't want to hear about that you want to hear about what's coming up so let's see what's going on for the present time now we got this two of Pentacles and the four of swords so two of Pentacles it's about two main issues at front in your mind you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things multitasking it's not your friend so you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on two main priorities. Your financial situation may need to be more balanced. So you might be focus, focusing or putting your attention there. Two of Pentacles is with the Four of Swords. It's signifying, it's showing a need for a break. Could be for normal life. This could mean that uh, you or someone in your life, they may withdraw for a time. But just know that this withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. It can also mean illness or time in the hospital. That's, these are examples. Or it could mean time in jail. Those are examples. You know, that means you're going away, but you're coming back. Okay? So it's a sign to give people their space. You could feel like you need some time and space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries or to just say no. 
On the other hand, when someone says no to you, take them at their word. Because if you push in this circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. So for the present time, like I said, the Four of Swords, showing a need for break, and the Two of Pentacles. So it looks like someone that you know, someone you're dealing with, or it could be someone new coming towards you like this Two of Pentacles. Or it could, could, be, could be the same person from the recent past. It could be a family member, but it's picking up. It's a love interest. This person will be like the Two of Pentacles. <laughs> they will be uh, multitasking. They will be back and forth. Two of Pentacles is about several tasks. It's about imbalance. A lot of um, readers, uh, they say this card is a two-timer. They do a lot of juggling. And that's kind of what I'm picking up. This person goes back and forth. They are a juggler. This person is probably a two-timer. They've got more than, they're dealing with more than just you. And I say that I'm leaning towards being a two-timer because it's paired with the Four of Swords, which is showing you need a break. You need a break from this connection. Because if you can see the card of the Four of Swords, it looks like this man, he went up to the top of the mountains. He probably took his four dogs with him. And he took four swords. And he took one candle. <laughs> he's got the candle at his, his... He's got the candle stuck in his shoe at his feet. One of his... Well, you can see that candle in the shoe. It's right below his foot. But he lit the candle because he doesn't have any intentions of getting up anytime soon. He's going to be there all through night. And his dogs, they're there for protection. And his four, his four swords, he will pull them out and use them if, if anyone disrupts his, his rest, his retreat. So he needs some rest after a struggle. So you could be dealing with someone that, that's a player. They go back and forth. And it just makes you feel like it's too much. So you go for withdraw. You might withdraw and re retreat. You, feel, you might feel disconnected from this person. Because that's also what the Four of Swords is about. Or you could just disconnect. So, yeah, so you're dealing with someone that's back and forth. And it's a bit too much for you. So you go up to the mountains just to maybe try to get over it. You might have a lot of feelings for this person. But you don't like what they do. They're back and forth and they're a two-timer. Now, let's take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. So we got the devil card. And it's paired with a death card. So the devil card, with this card, it's important for you to realize that no matter what your situation is, you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, make sure you come to it on your own. So it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You could start to feel like you're not in control of your life. Sometimes this happens as a result of your own actions, but more often it's a byproduct of inaction. So it's about taking action, whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight of being in control. Even if it's a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Small baby steps. They are important because a devil card is about addictions. Now, it's paired with a death card. The death card, just know that when you get this card in a reading, it's irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're creatures with free will and such things, they are not written in stone. Now, the death card, it simply indicates transformation and change. Definitely a time of deep transformation, likely to be both internally and externally in your life, some situations, 
things, maybe people that you counted on or had gotten used to, they may long, no longer be available to you in quite the same way. But just know that this transition can be a difficult time for some people. The change, though, is nearly always needed. So just keep that in mind. So the challenge is that you could be dealing with someone. I don't know if this is the same person that's a, that's a player or they do a lot of juggling. Could be the same person. But you realize that they, they have a, some addictions. And maybe you already knew it. Addictions could be greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust. Or they, you know, it's interesting because the devil card is about obsession. They could be obsessed with you. Or I'm getting a couple of storylines here. You could have a deep, deep obsession for this person because they, it looks like they're kind of like stressing you out. You could really have a deep, deep attraction towards this person. Or this person has some really bad habits. And it looks like because the death card is here, you might come to a conclusion or you might lose, you might have lost interest. You might be losing interest in this, this person. So you could realize that you're sticking with this person that you are deeply unhappy with because you are afraid of letting go of what's familiar or comfortable. Or it could be because you hate the thought of being alone. So you're coming to a conclusion. You might be losing interest in this connection. I see that it's causing you headaches. So you might you might let let the connection die. You might just let it let it go. You're losing interest. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. You it looks like you go through with this person. Uh, addictions could be alcoholism, just bad habits, devil energy, and you're losing interest because the death card is, is about losing interest also. So that's what we got for the challenge. Now let's move on over and let's see what the outcome is. We got the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Wands. The so Seven of Pentacles, I like this card. The picture actually says it all. I really shouldn't have to explain it to you, but I like to teach so that people can get the meaning of the cards. But if you just look at the picture, Seven of Pentacles is the card above the word outcome. This lady, she looks like she's in her backyard or a garden and she's watering this plant. It was probably a baby when she had it, a little tiny thing, but now it's about eight feet tall. The leaves are really dark and green. She probably takes care of it, waters it every morning and do whatever she has to to it at night before she goes to bed. So it's about reaping the benefits of the energy and time you put into something and nurturing something. So it's about returns on investments. It can be literal, such as a bank account returning money to you or figuratively, such as investments of time and effort and energy that you put into a relationship or situation. Like I said, it's about reaping what you've sown and this is positive. So you should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things will be moving on and you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a good cause. So you may have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you're already involved with or whether to spend time and energy bringing more into your life. Now, it's with this King of Wands. King of Wands is the type of person that likes to serve as a mentor. It's a positive card in the tarot. Now, when this does not represent an actual individual in your life, it signifies that men around you, they're supportive of you and they think really well of you. So you could be feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and you might feel like you have the will to accomplish whatever you have in mind. 
King of Wands is, is beautiful in the tarot. It's a great card. It signifies that there's someone who has really caring and protective feelings about you. And this person will be willing to work really hard if necessary just to make the relationship work. So, Sagittarius, it looks like you got someone new coming in. This King of Wands. This person will care a lot about you and they'll they'll be very protective about you caring feelings a lot of mojo for you this person and it looks like they're gonna try really hard to make this connection work really hard and that's what she's doing with the seven of pentacles showing up here so you got someone really good coming in so hopefully you can get over this two-timer or this person with a lot of devil energy or addictions because it looks like um you could be like i said uh, with a death card here you're losing interest in this person that's causing you a headache yeah i like the recent past i'm wondering if this is the person from the recent past the person that you celebrated life with, they could be uh, still in your life or they could be coming back um, like the King of Wands here. But there's someone good coming in. person has a lot of mojo for you and they're going to really try to make the connection work. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope this resonates, but as you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation once in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I'll also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So. Sagittarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you guys are taking good care of yourselves during this crazy virus season that we're having. Just know that it will pass and we'll all get through this. So just hang in there. Uh, please come back and join me for the next Sagittarius reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. So I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. And I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care.